It must have been right around the time when it actually happened. So 95, 96, the story became like uh, news and I started to think about it. And then followed by uh, books and documentaries and I slowly started to think that this would be a really good movie. It seems that it's like going from generation to generation. So it, 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 in a weird way, it's just like the lifespan of the story is just becoming longer and longer. I'd seen the, the Vice documentaries and then Until the Light Takes Us. That sort of led me to discover the bands and then there's so much stuff online about it. And um, so I was already pretty into, into it. And then reading the script, it was like, uh, it just fit perfectly into the stuff I already knew about it and provided like a really um, great role for an actor. He seemed to know the most about it going in. He helped out with the, the rehearsal and all that. A real musician. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah the rehe we rehearsed um, the songs in a studio in, in Budapest. So we'd just be cranking the music and singing along to it or playing guitar. We had like real Screaming. amps and instruments around. When I was gonna do the tape and everything, um, I just got like, you know, a few, few you know, tips of what, what it was about. So, you know, checked out all the documentaries and, you know, read up on it a lot before, you know, far before I even got the part. So by the time shooting commenced, you know, I knew mo most of the things that I could find out about, about my character especially and, uh, and the story. But like prior to that, I didn't really have any knowledge of it. Obviously, I wanted it to be as close to the, re the reality as possible, and we had such a clear references. But at the same time, we needed to make a movie, so we had to give ourselves a little flexibility. For all of us, I think it was really helpful to have these clear references. Um, so we, I think we took advantage of the fact that we knew how they dressed and how they talked and even walked at points. In the end result of the movie, it's, it's, it's more about you know, telling the story about these young boys and basically just more a tool for us developing the characters. We've been in contact with all of them and we, we, they know about the movie and they, uh, they know we have their music in the film and they've been part of the development of the film. It's against their religion, so to speak, to, to do this and be uh, commercialize uh, anything that has to do with black metal. A lot of the people that was involved are going to be very surprised when they see the film because the film, I don't think the film is what they think it is. Uh, we're focusing way more on the characters and the emotional story and these young boys doing what they did. Uh, it's not a movie about black metal, even though it's a lot of music in there, but it's, it's more a, a relationship story about these young boys. We had like the, the band rehearsals where we're learning how to, you know, learning how to play it or fake it. Um, so there was like weeks of, of just music rehearsals in a, in a small little studio that, you know, got real smelly real quick, a bunch of sweaty dudes, and you know, so that'll, that'll bond you. Jonas did such a good job of, of um, subtly bringing us together. I remember he was, you were even staying in a castle for a while in Budapest. Right. With, you know, candelabras, and we would just show up in, the, like, we didn't really do rehearsal, but he would invite us over you know, at night and we'd have dinner and then he'd send us songs to listen to and just sort of, I think for two weeks we were kind of sitting around going, what are we actually doing? Like, why are we all f here? Like, two weeks before shooting and then it kind of started making sense. I'm practicing for weeks and, and um, you know, we didn't know what Jonas was going to think. So we, we all played and then he came on set and we're just like worried, <laughs> what's he going to say? He came on set. And he just looked up, and there was a piece of tape hanging from the ceiling. And, what the hell is this? Like, oh, I don't know. It's like, okay, get rid of it. Let's go again. And like, walked off set. And was like, okay. okay. But that's kind of what I like admire about Jonas is like, there was never any. He doesn't stop and admire the work until it's done. You know, there's no smelling of the roses until we're, we were totally done. It was just straight ahead the whole time. Mm -hmm.